welcome to Call Fire's Excel tutorial. Today we'll review some tips and tricks for preparing your contact list for uploading into Call Fire. And a lot of these can be used in a whole host of Excel scenarios you'll find. So let's get started. So many people I think don't find Excel to be entirely fun, but today let's have an adventure together in Excel. Today we'll review a few different topics. We'll start with formatting your phone numbers, how to remove extensions from those phone numbers if they're included, how to unmerge some cells, how to upload only a single Excel sheet, and how to name a file and Excel sheet. So let's get started. Let's go to Customers Info here. And we'll look at the formats of these phone numbers. You'll see that many of them come in many different formats, as you may find with your phone numbers, such as the classic uh, parentheses around the area code with a space and a dash, two different dashes, or maybe periods. What we really want to shoot for is to have all digits in, these, uh, in this single cell. Uh, and especially when it comes to extensions, we'll especially want to remove those because our system will not dial those numbers that have extensions in them. Uh, so we'll want to push these extensions into, for instance, another column here made for extensions. You can either highlight your entire column of phone numbers to get started here, or you could just highlight a few just like that. What we'll want to do with these phone numbers is we'll want to remove the erroneous extra characters uh, such as those uh, nasty parentheses there and uh, we'll want to do that by uh, when we highlight all of these we'll want to choose from the edit menu find. Uh, or if you're on a Mac you can do replace. If you're on a Windows though choose find and you'll get a similar pop-up window, but on a Windows you'll find that uh, there's another tab that says Replace right next to Find. And go ahead and click on that. You'll find that it looks exactly like uh, this dialog box here. So what do we want to find? Well, we want to find that parentheses, for instance, the left parentheses that we don't want in there, and we want to remove it. Well, how do we do that? Well, we're going to want to replace it with nothing. So we put in the character we want to find, don't fill in the replace with field, and then choose to replace all of them. Essentially what the system does is it subtracts all of those left parentheses from all of your phone numbers. We can do the same here with the dashes. You'll see all the dashes disappear here. Uh, it was very handy. And you can see the period removed as well. Yeah, that's very helpful. Now when it comes to the right parentheses, thankfully there's a space right next to it so we can just click sp on the space bar once and then we kill two birds with one stone just like that. There we go. So this is exactly what we want to shoot for which is to have all digits in a single cell. So that's formatting the phone numbers. Now let's talk about how to um, get those extensions out of there. So uh, those can be very bothersome and of course you don't want to do them individually, especially if you have hundreds or even thousands of phone numbers. So how do we get that out of there? Well, there's a very, very special Excel trick which is to use under data the text to columns option. And what you'll be doing with text to columns is You'll be telling it, uh, well, there's a particular um, character between two other pieces of information, and I want that character, character to be the dividing line so that both of those pieces of information are separated into columns. Uh, so in this case, we have a space. We have a space right between the two phone numbers. Uh, you can use, uh, you'll see in a few minutes, really any character for this, but in this case, the space is the trick. So we'll want to use text to columns, and then you'll see it's chosen 
delimit it as default, and that's fine. That's what we want. We can choose next. And you'll see here that the space has been chosen. Sometimes tab is auto chose, uh, 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 chosen or the uh, semicolon or comma. But in this case, we want to check the space. In some cases, you may have a uh, different character. Uh, and you could just type a character if you're choosing in there. So that is very handy. Uh, so you can get creative with this uh, with this. Uh, uh, option here. Next we'll choose uh, to go to the uh, final wizard step. Don't choose anything here and just choose finish. All right. Just like magic, those two pieces of data have been separated. And if you're seeing uh, hundreds or even thousands of phone numbers on a single Excel, uh, this will seem uh, very magical. and <laughs> I think you'll be very pleased to see that done in a single click. So we've done the first few topics here, which is how to format your phone numbers by using the find and replace all function with nothing. You'll want to remove extensions by using the text to columns option under data, using space as the delimiter in this case. So let's go on to unmerging cells. So you'll find sometimes your cells will be merged. So this cell here is made up of three cells merged. So we'll want to unmerge those by going up here into the header and choosing unmerge. There we go. Just like normal. You can go ahead and leave that formatting. Uh, Call Fire system doesn't, uh, doesn't have an issue with that. But it does have an issue with also unmerged uh, cells, even if they don't have text in them. So you do have to ensure that you uh, have unmerged all here. You can even highlight the entire sheet by clicking just to the left of A and just above the 1. It will highlight the whole sheet, and then just ensure they're all unmerged. There you go. So that will really uh, help you with anything that may uh, hamstring the uh, call fire system as well as many other systems, to tell you the truth. Okay, so let's talk about how to uh, upload just a single sheet. Sometimes you'll find there's many Excel sheets in an Excel file, and we do want to ensure that only a single sheet is uploaded into the Call Fire system. Well, if you have a couple of uh, sheets here, you can just right-click on the sheet or this tab and then you can just choose to delete it. But I prefer, especially if there's many tabs, to just take this single tab here, or sheet, and pull it out and create its own file. And you can easily do that by just grabbing it and pulling it out. And then let go, and it will create its own file there. There we go and it creates a copy of the file, which is very handy. You'll see this new file named Workbook 3 only has a single sheet, and it is a copy of this sheet over here. You can see all of our work done here with the formatting and the unmerging and the extension. So now we'll want to ensure that we save these changes by uh, saving this, okay? So make sure you uh, save this workbook here. Okay, and I recommend whenever you're saving these, I recommend saving them right to your desktop. There it is right there. And then you'll always know exactly where it is. Um, ideally, you should have it as an Excel workbook, XLS or XLSX, or uh, which is here, you can have an XLS, or you can have it as a comma separated values or CSV file. Um, XLS is just fine here, or XLSX, so I'll just choose to save it. Okay. Now let's talk about the uh, final uh, topic here, which is uh, naming a file. Of course, we've just named it uh, a very good name here, a couple, uh, couple of words, call fire contacts, no extra characters or anything, so that's very good. 
But let's look down here at the name of the sheet. Well, sometimes Callfire has issues when there's extra characters, such as an exclamation point here, or in this case, a dash, uh, or even many, many words. So I recommend just pairing that down into just a, a few words, uh, something that does make sense to you, or you can even just call it um, sheet number one as it usually defaults to, and that's fine because Excel will, or a call fire will just pull the numbers out of your Excel when it uploads into the system. So that's it. So we've just covered how to upload only a single sheet, and of course you'll want to remove your preferred sheet from your original Excel file. And then lastly, we'll want to ensure that our file name as well as our sheet name will only have uh, regular words, no extra characters, dashes, exclamation points, really anything at all that you think uh, is out of the ordinary. Um, I recommend just deleting it, and, uh, and then it won't trip the system up too much, okay? All right, well, I hope you learned something today. I hope you had fun, and if you have any questions whatsoever, please do give our, our support a call. They're really there to help you and really just be an extra team member. Uh, so feel free to give them a call. Our number here is 877-897-3473, and we're always happy to help. All right, well, thanks for joining us, and good luck out there with your Excel.